Last Man Standing, a mini game that has been around for a while. It was launched back in 2016 and it was completely reworked in 2019 to what is uh, basically known as the LMS today. So when you enter this mini game, you get to an island with uh, 23 other players and everyone has equal stats and gear and you have to fight to the death until only one player remains standing. So depending on how well you do in a game, you get a certain amount of points. And these points can be spent on buying items that you can later sell in the grand exchange to get money. So back in 2020, I made a video about me doing that for 10 hours and I got about 12 mil from that. Now there has been a bunch of reworks to Last Man Standing, a new map has been released. Now it's not only main accounts but it's also Zerks and Pures and it's randomly selected which uh, account build you will play on. And also Jagex has made it so you have to have at least 750 total and 30 quest points or 1500 total in order to play the competitive mode which earns you points. So I'm gonna do this for 10 hours again now in 2022 and see if there's any difference compared to when I played it in 2020. So let's see how this goes. So one thing I instantly noticed uh, when I started playing is that the bots are still there. Even with uh, the new rule set, uh, it seems like they have managed to get around this. And these are not your regular Green Dragon bots. These are freaking Terminators. They are extremely annoying to fight. You have to one tick every attack in order uh, to hit them off prayer. They also do perfect DDing. They always attack you with the uh, thing that you don't pray. For me at least, I find them really annoying and difficult to fight. But the bot situation I think wasn't as bad as it has been before. But as I said, the bots are much much stronger nowadays. So basically the best way I've found to kill these bots is uh, to freeze them and stand a little bit far away. You pray range so they will stay in their mage gear. Then you equip with your mage tank and you wield the staff right before attacks and that will make them pray melee. And then you one take your bolt. This is uh, not bulletproof at all. With bad RNG they will still kill you. But uh, I think this makes your chances of killing them much higher than if you would just try to breed them properly. Also, if you stay in late game with these bots, you can do like this. You stay on the westernmost edge of the safe zone. Then you let the bot freeze you right on the edge. It will then start to DD and it will go back and forth between the safe zone and the fog. And all you have to do is try to, uh, try to freeze the bot outside of the safe zone and it will take a lot of damage which uh, is almost a guaranteed kill if you manage to do this early in the fight. Other than that, honestly, I got beat up by these bots uh, probably more than I killed them. So yeah, uh, I think Jagex needs to do something about that. So after 10 hours, this is the results that I got. And if you compare it to the results from 2020, you can see that uh, I played more games, I did worse, but I got more points. So this is a list of items that you can buy from the shop, sorted by GP per point. Now I have decided to go with Ornite Mole Handles. It's not the highest up in the list, but I believe it's the thing that is the best GP per point that you can sell pretty fast in the Grand Exchange. Also with the remaining points, I bought some clue boxes. So let's sell this and see how much I made. Okay, now that uh, everything is sold, you can see that I made a little bit over 11 mil, which is actually worse than uh, in 2020. So the GP per point is actually a little bit worse, at least if you buy all night mole handles. I don't know if I could have sold the, those cosmetics that were more GP per point, but uh, I don't think so actually. Maybe if I would have gotten more consistent wins, I would have made more, but I'm actually not too sure about that. Because uh, if you get to late game every time, you get more points, but the games also take long time to play. So uh, maybe it evens out, I'm not sure. Maybe if someone who gets more consistent wins can try this as well and see if they can make more. So uh, would I recommend this as a money maker? Absolutely not. There are far less intensive and more efficient ways to make money. But I think for me at least, uh, this is a good way of uh, warming up my clicks before going into the wilderness. If you guys have followed my series where I try to get 99 Prime for free, you would know that my clicks need to be on point in order to kill the bone runners. Other than that, this was uh, pretty fun, although it kind of got a little bit repetitive and I kind of uh, miss the risk that uh, you would normally get while PK. So yeah, you guys can try this out as well and see if you can make more. I hope you guys enjoyed, subscribe if you want to, and have a great day.